Yesterday I spent the whole day in Bratislava in Slovakia, which is really close to Vienna, but it's a super beautiful small city to take pictures and videos. I also just got the new Huawei Nova 5T, which is looking really cool. It retails for around 430 euros and it's less than half of the price of the current flagship, the Mate 30 Pro. So I ask myself, how close comes a mid-ranger to the Mate 30 Pro and is the Mate 30 Pro's camera really worth the high price? Thanks to Huawei for borrowing me the phones and now let's check it out. While the Nova 5T skips some top-end features, the camera is not one of them. It's got an impressive quad camera setup resembling the one found on the P30 Pro. It's not as good as Leica branded quad cameras on the P30 Pro, but the results are pretty good though for the price. The 4 camera setup on the back is headlined by a 48 megapixel main sensor with f1.4 with optical image stabilization and laser autofocus, which is the same Sony IMX586 48 megapixel sensor. It also comes with a 60 megapixel super wide f2.2 with 117 degree field of view lens and an 8 megapixel telephoto lens with f2.4 with OIS capable of 3x lossless zoom and 5x hybrid zoom. And lastly, a 2 megapixel macro lens with f2.4. So let's get started with some regular pictures under daylight conditions. Now here are some pictures from both phones from the wide angle camera, all pictures are unedited. Now the Nova 5T comes with a 60 megapixel f2.2 30mm camera, while the Mate 30 Pro comes with a 14 megapixel 18mm f1.8 camera. And as you can see, there's a big difference in terms of sharpness, in terms of detail. And especially when it gets a little bit darker, you have way more details in the shadows, you have raised shadows, you can see everything in the shadows. On the Nova 5T you have to edit the picture, but then you also get a lot of grain as you can see in this picture here where she is looking through the window. There's a lot of grain in the shadows. And also when it gets dark you really notice a difference between the wide angle camera with the lower aperture on the Mate 30 Pro and the higher aperture on the Nova 5T. So I would say the wide angle camera is actually the biggest difference, but you do get still pretty good looking pictures out of the Nova 5T, but it it requires a bit of editing. On the Mate 30 Pro you get really great looking pictures straight out of the phone without any editing. Anyhow, I really love having a wide angle camera. Every time I shoot with my Google Pixel 4 I feel there is missing something because a wide angle camera gives you really more options to get things on your picture, especially huge buildings in the city or if you are in narrow streets, a wide angle camera is really handy. Even though the wide angle camera is not that good as on the Mate 30 Pro, it's still quite decent unless you shoot in low light conditions. When you are switching to the main shooter which is 40 megapixels f1.6 27mm on the Mate and 48 megapixels f1.8 28 mm on the Nova, then you can see that the difference is actually less visible. But still, the Mate 30 Pro has way better dynamic range. Also here in the shadows, as you can see, if you edit the picture, you get grain, you don't get the same amount of details, the same good um, lighting in the shadows. So the Mate 30 Pro is definitely doing better, but also the Nova 5T, if you take pictures of closer objects, then actually the difference is not that visible. If you have a closer look at this picture right over here, it's really hard to tell from which phone the picture is. So well, you can get really good pictures out of the Nova 5T for way less money because it's packing the last generation of Huawei's flagship smartphones but without the Leica branding. Sometimes when you run around in the city, a telephoto lens can be really handy. Either for portrait shootings or if you want to take pictures of buildings which are more far away and you don't want to go there or simply if you want to zoom in on objects to take a closer look at them. Huawei smartphones, especially the P30 Pro, have really good zoom capabilities and the P30 Pro was one of the best smartphones in the industry when it comes to the zoom. But how good compares the Nova 5T to the Mate 30 Pro? Let's check it out. I think I don't have to say a lot here as you can see the difference clearly. The Mate 30 Pro doesn't have the telescopic zoom like the P30 Pro, but it's one of the best phones for zooming overall. When zooming the system can create a super resolution model at raw level for better textures and detail. This is like day and night compared to the 3x optical and 5x hybrid zoom on the Nova 5T. So here is a huge difference between the flagship and the mid-ranger. The Mate 30 Pro selfie cam is the same 32 megapixel f2.0 unit from the P30 Pro. That means it's fixed focus while some competitors have already adopted to autofocusing front cams. But the Mate does have a TOF setup on the front, unlike the Nova 5T. 
and that shows in its selfie portraits and also the much improved subject isolation. There's a 32 megapixel selfie snapper housed in the punch hole on the front of the Nova 5T, and it's teaming up with AI and software enhancements, which makes selfies look a little bit overprocessed. Here are some pictures. Now let's be honest, I hate taking selfies. Now under daylight conditions, you won't see a big difference between the phones. But under dim light conditions, as you can see, the mate is actually brighter and not that blurry. But at night, if you turn on the night mode on the Mate 30, there's a huge difference because the night mode is really improving the picture a lot. As you can see, really sharp, plenty of details. So that's a big difference here. Talking about the night, when the lights go out in the city, Huawei shines with its night mode. And the night mode was actually the reason that made me buy the P20 Pro back at the time. So let's check out a few pictures. So here are pictures from both phones and as you can see they use pretty much the same colors because well, they have the same color algorithm. Anyhow, the Mate 30 Pro keeps the white balance a little bit closer to real life. In this picture you can see that there is a big difference in terms of detail and as you can see look at the ball up there, the trees, the walls, there is a really big difference in sharpness. On the Nova it's a little bit washed out, on the Mate 30 Pro you have a lot of detail. Here in this picture you can also see that there is a difference in white balance. Sometimes the white balance on the Nova 5T is a little bit off but most shots are pretty okay. Now when it comes to night mode there's a huge difference as well. Well, during these long exposure shots you really need to keep your phone as steady as possible. The Mate 30 Pro is rocking a really good optical stabilization and also software stabilization. The software stabilization on Nova 5T is working pretty good as well, but as you can see both shots here are handheld and sometimes it was just really blurry night mode on the Nova 5T while it was really good on the Mate 30 Pro. So there seems to be also a really big difference in stabilization, but the night mode really helps to get amazing looking pictures like HDR on your smartphone during nighttime. And here you can check out some sample pictures and hear what I said, it's a little bit blurry on the 5T sometimes and I would really recommend getting a small tripod if you want to do these long exposure night mode shots. When it comes to portraits, here also a low light portrait where you can see a difference in sharpness, detail. Here once again indoors, um, there's a lot of more detail in the shadows and highlights and yeah, Overall, the Mate 30 Pro is for sure better, but it's also more expensive. But if you shoot a lot in dark scenes, then it's really recommended to get a flagship device like the Mate 30 Pro, because it's performing just incredibly well in low light, as you can see also here in this picture of the church in Bratislava. Now when it comes to videos, the Mate 30 Pro is the leading device of Huawei in terms of video performance with 4K 60. The Nova 5T caps out at 4K 30fps, but as you can see, the colors are a little bit more saturated on the Nova 5T, while on the Mate 30 Pro they are more flat for color grading. Autofocus on both phones is really accurate without any problems, as you can see here. So also if the subject is moving, there are no focusing issues. And video performance under daylight is pretty good on both devices. But when it comes to low light, especially with the wide angle camera, you see the huge difference in terms of aperture and the high ISO on the Mate 30 Pro, which is really making a huge difference. Overall, video quality is good. Huawei is improving constantly and the Mate 30 Pro is finally a Huawei smartphone where I really liked the video performance. Now that's it guys, that was my camera review, it took me quite a lot of time to edit all this, so I would really appreciate if you could like this video if it was helpful, write a comment down below and if you want to see more and the full video comparison with my Panasonic GH5S then stay tuned. So big thanks for watching guys, as always I'm Steven from Tech Magnet, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a nice day and bye.